Hello everybody, I'm back and I'm sitting on my front porch today so hopefully the lighting will be a little bit better and the color not so crazy yellow and off. I want to read to you today um, just a passage from a book that I'm reading called Meet the Frugal Woods. Um, this is about achieving financial independence through simple living. It's a pretty um, new publication. Uh, you can find it at your local library. We do have it in our catalog at Hennepin County Library System. It looks like the copyright was 2018. So it's a pretty, pretty new release, but really good read. And I'd like to share uh, one of the passages that stands out to me. She says, once I started earning a decent income, and then most especially after Nate's, that's her husband, similarly decent salary was stacked on top of mine, we stopped micromanaging our spending. By which I mean, I had no clue what we spent in any given week, month, or year. Back in my Brooklyn AmeriCorps days, I counted every bar of soap I bought for fear I'd overdraw my account. Now that I'd experienced a life of spending $40 a week on artisanal cheeses and $120 on haircuts and $200 on dinners out, I realized it wasn't what I wanted. What was the point of being able to buy whatever I wanted if I didn't control my time. I thought money was the ultimate resource, but it was dawning on me that time is actually the greatest resource of all. It wasn't that I hated my job. I didn't. It's that I spent too many hours there with my tasks dictated by other people, unable to work on things that I felt inspired by. Whew. I understood that Nate and I had fallen for the most hackneyed trope of the American dream. We were spending more money in increasingly desperate attempts to mitigate the frustration and discontent we felt over our jobs. We were working for the weekends and spending the money we'd worked so hard to earn in an effort to make ourselves feel better about how hard we worked. It was a vicious cycle. 